All right, so I think this one's gonna be a bit of a sequel. I saw a comment recently asking me to make a beat with no plugins, and I've already done this once before, but I think it's a pretty useful exercise to do in regards to sound selection and stuff like that. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a beat without the use of VSTs. To be fair, I should probably set some ground rules first. So I'm gonna say VST generators count as plugins. So I'm not gonna be using Trillion, no Omnisphere, no Contact, no Analog Lab 5, nothing like that. So those are illegal. I will not use those in this video. I will say for the sake of the video that mixing VSTs are still valid because the last time I opened Fruity Multiband Compressor was in like 2018 and I would like to keep it that way. But I think seeing as I'm not allowed to use VSTs, it might be time to try out some new technology. I use the Eternal Multi Kit on like a regular basis. Prodvarm has recently sent me the sequel to this pack. And as you can see, it comes with eight different kits inside it. Like someone explained to me why this pack takes up more room on my drive than Fortnite. But regardless, these are the sounds I'm going to be using to make up for the fact that I can't use VSTs. I'm going to drop this down one octave. Now around this time, I would normally open up like eight instances of Analog Lab 5, but I can't really do that for this video. So I'm gonna see what I can find in here real quick. Now some of these are ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Attack on Titan type beat, okay. I'm whipping out old reliable right here. I'm getting somewhere. I haven't really looked in the pedals folder yet, so I might have a look at that real quick. Oof, okay. I don't really know what else to add to this though, because there's already a lot going on. I might look in the ethnic phrases folder. I wish I knew how to pronounce this type of flute, but I love this flute so much. Okay, and of course, as I do with all flutes, I'm gonna throw some reverb on that real quick. Maybe some panning as well, I don't know. Kind of realizing now this isn't even really a challenge because there's so many things you can use that aren't vsts to make beats nowadays so did i have to pick like the most unusable vocal in this entire pack like what i don't really like how that sounds i'm gonna chop that up a little bit Okay, I'm gonna add like one more thing because the melody is way too busy now, so. Okay, without effects, that sounds kind of awful. So I may need to mix everything down before I add any drums. I think since there's a lot going on in the melody, I'm gonna have to keep the drums really, really simple. So I believe I've got like my more trap style drums here. And there's some organic sounds as well. Whatever that means, I don't really know what that means. Brother's talking about drum sounds like it's milk or something. Doing. I've been programming hi-hats for like 10 minutes. What is this?
must be the simplest drum pattern I've made in quite some time. I do kind of appreciate how when you mix the live elements with the trap drum sounds, you get a really strange texture from it and I think it sounds pretty good. I think the only thing really left to do is mix and arrange everything and then we can hear the final beat. So I think I've mixed everything down. I think because there's a lot of melodies in the high frequency range, I kind of struggled to fit the vocal elements in, but I haven't really listened to it in a while. So I want to see what it sounds like now. kind of realizing just how simple this beat is. I think at some points it might be a little bit repetitive. I think it's definitely missing some effects though, especially if there's going to be an artist on here, like an acapella or something. I'm very impressed with how versatile the phrase kit is in this pack. There's even some saxophone samples in here. I mean, they sound okay, but realistically, whoever's playing the saxophone here is terrible. But regardless, I think I'm pretty happy with how the beat turned out. And as you can tell, in 2023 and 2024 coming up as well, you don't really need insanely expensive plugins anymore to make beats. I think as long as you invest in some decent sounds and you're careful with sound selection, it can go a long way. Also want to say a big thank you to Prodviome again for making this video possible. And if you're interested in using any of the sounds in this video in your own production, there'll be an affiliate link in the description, which gives you a pretty good discount. Uh, if you think I cheated by using mixing plugins, feel free to let me know. I'm more than happy to do this again with just stock plugins. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And if you enjoyed, of course, feel free to like and subscribe. So I'm going to play the final beat again to see what I could do better for next time.